So explain why you decided to, to resign. Sure. So let me start off by saying this is absolutely a, a personal decision for me. It was really difficult for me. You know, I don't mean to project my own values and the limits of my own conscience on the entirety of the federal bureaucracy. Right. So let me first say that there are thousands and thousands of federal employees who did not make the same decision I did. Um, and they are absolutely working to prevent this freight train from going off the rails and exploding. Okay, so respect for them. But, and I think this was the, the real, kind of one of the core messages of my op-ed. Um, if you're a concerned American and you're hoping that some unelected official somewhere or a cabal of civil servants somewhere will resist this president, and fight his policies from within the government, then you will be disappointed. You never saw any resistance or deep state? Uh, I certainly saw people's personal reservations. Uh, I never saw a deep state. Um, that's right. Uh, what I did see was people kind of really weighing this thing. And if I, if I can use an analogy, um, working as a diplomat overseas, as a foreign service officer, feels kind of like you know, watching your home from a distance. And so you know, even under the prior administration, and I mentioned this in my op-ed, um, I absolutely could see visible cracks in, in the walls, maybe even the foundation of our nation, or our government at least. Um, the past three years have felt like the house is on fire. And not only is it on fire, but there's a man purposefully lighting more fires. And so, you know, when I see, when I talk to my colleagues, it's not that they don't feel the same distress that I do. They absolutely do. It's not like 